we're constructing the Draco Boost Glider, and we're going to start with the booster section, or the part that launches the rocket up, and it will detach later. Um, and this is the first part of the instruction, so we're on step one, and you'll need your ruler, and uh, this is the motor mount tube that I already got out, and we need to mark it um, a half inch from both ends, and then a quarter inch from one of the ends. So I'm just going to mark it here, and you should probably use a pencil. I'm just using a pen um, so that you can see it. Um, sometimes the ink can, uh, when it gets dissolved by solvents like in the glue or paint, it can float to the surface, and we don't want that to happen. So uh, go ahead and use um, a pencil to do this. Uh, next we're going to cut... Um, at the quarter inch line, we're going to cut a slot, and this is for the engine hook. So the slot doesn't need to be very long, just big enough for the engine hook. And this is what the engine hook is. And this part here with the 90 degree bend is going to go into that slot that we just made. So that's only as how long it needs to be. Um, next, we're on step two. We're going to take the cardstock ring. And we're going to punch out um, the parts. Um, it says to cut it, but they come out pretty easy just by punching them out. But if you have any hang-ups, um, you know, you can flip it over on the back and then just trace along the outside. Find that spot where it's hanging up and cut it right there. Okay, so now we're going to take one of the rings and it's going to be glued on to this end, which uh, where the engine hook sticks over the edge of the tube. So I'm going to slide it over the ring, and it's going to be glued right at that line there. Let me get my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. So I just run a bead of glue around. Have some paper towels handy, because I'm always making a mess. Just like that. And then slide the ring up into it. Make sure it's nice and flush. It just makes a better looking rocket. And I'm just squeegeeing out any excess glue over there. And then I'm going to put it on the back side here. And I'll put another fillet of glue over here. I want this nice and strong. Okay. Then we're going to take our yellow shock cord, and this is step four, and we're going to tie it around the tube before we put the other centering ring on. So Okay, so I got a loop and I got a slip knot here, so I'm just going to cinch it down. And then in step five, we're going to take the other centering ring here, pass the shock cord through it, and this is going to go over the tube, and we're going to glue it on this line right here. Okay, and then we're going to make sure it's nice and straight. I got mine crooked a little bit. It looks good. And then I'm going to, actually I want to pull this shock cord. I want to pull it tight so that this shock cord is right up against the ring. And it's nice and tight. And then I want to smooth that out. There's, a, there's another ring before I do that. In step six, I'll put the fillet on this side as well. And this is going over the top of the, of the shock cord on this side. And that's going to glue it up against that tube. Okay, so now we're going to take this ring, the green ring, the big one, and it's just big enough to go over this. I want to do a test fit first. 
make sure it goes on. And it's, there's always a little burr on the inside and you just take your fingernail and press it down so that it's easier to put over the tube. Okay, just like that. And before I put it on, I'm going to pass the, the shock cord through there. And I'm going to put some glue on this. And this is going to get glued right up against that paper ring. And the purpose of this green ring is to reinforce this so that that shock cord can't pull out. I'm going to push it up hard and then pull that string. You know, and once you get it up there nice and tight, you know, cinch it down. And it won't hurt to put another fillet of glue over here on this side just to make sure that that green ring doesn't move because this is a structural part. And if the, uh, the rings move, that shock cord's coming out and then your um, booster part of the rocket is going to uh, not have a parachute on it. And we don't want that to happen. Okay, moving along. Now we're flipping over page to page seven, or step seven. And we're going to take the other green ring. I, I put all my bags in a little Ziploc bag here so that I wouldn't lose them. So we want the smaller of the green rings. And that is going to be glued in here. Um, that engine hook comes up inside. It's here on the bottom. And we want this ring right up against it. And that prevents the engine from taking this engine hook and pushing it forward. Um, so we want to glue that ring in there. And just putting a bead of glue on the inside and smearing it around. And if you get too much glue in there, uh, when you push it up against it, and if there's too much glue on this side, take a dowel, or I usually use the back end of a hobby knife, and run it along the edge. You can't probably can't see it, but I, I picked up some extra glue that oozed out. Um, if that extra glue can prevent the engine from going in all the way, so you don't want to fill it on this side, um, but you could put one on this side if you so desire. Um, you can just smear some glue in there just so that that ring doesn't slide forward all right and then we're going to take this part and we're going to set it aside and we're going to get our uh, big tube and we need to mark that so that's this one right here and we're going to from the second page in the instructions, there is a alignment uh, marking guide right here. So cut that out. And I've already done one here that has been cut out. And I got a little piece of tape. And we're going to wrap that around this tube. And when you wrap it around, there's these vertical lines here. And we want to align these vertical lines with that and pull it tight. Oops. Like that. And then we're going to mark each location. And we're also going to tell, you know, mark what they are. Um, and I'm just thinking, I'm using a pen here, and this is not the place to use a pen because uh, we're going to paint this later and the solvents in the paint are going to get to this ink. So I actually want to pause here and get a pencil to make sure that I'm doing it right so that I'm not ruining the finish of my rocket once I get it done. So we're going to pause the video here and in the next video we'll start marking this tube and getting it ready for the fins and gluing this engine mount in. So I'll see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.